I'm going to open the meeting. Reading of the meeting's notice, please. The Board of Directors of the School District of the City of Erie, PA, will meet in regular session on Wednesday, October 11, 2017, in the auditorium of East Middle School, 1001 Atkins Street, at 6 o'clock p.m., by request of the President, Frank Petrunger, Jr. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mr. Spagel. Excuse, excuse, sorry. Mrs. Alexandrovich. Here. Mr. Brzezinski. Here. Mr. Casillo. Here. Mr. Fabrizi. Here. Mr. Harkin. Here. Mrs. McNair. Excused. Ms. Shenley. Here. Mr. Petrunger. Here. <clears throat> Pledge of Allegiance led by Jolie Zarnecki, sixth grade student from East Middle School, introduced by Ms. Sherry Prater, principal, followed by a moment, moment of silence. For Susan Coletta, former teacher who passed away on September 28, 2017. Virginia Mancusco, retired school nurse who passed away on September 30, 2017. Chad Ewings, former teacher who passed away on October 5, 2017. Joseph Spinelli, retired engineer who passed away on October 9, 2017. Mr. Chairman. Yes. In addition, I don't want us to overlook in case we did that uh, since we last met, Fred Trott, a teacher coach at Tech Memorial. Uh, he passed away on September 11th. Roman Boykin, a wrestling coach, passed away on September 20th. And Martha Ann Schaff, a phys ed teacher at several schools, passed away on September 27th. Thank you. Ms. Prater. East Middle School student representative for the Pledge of Allegiance is Jolie Zarnecki. She is in Mrs. Fitch's sixth grade homeroom. Her parents are Ashley Zarnecki and Sean Benefield. Her brothers and sisters are Gianna, Jackson, Summer, and Colony. She enjoys math class and her teachers. Her favorite subject is math. Her personal interest includes gymnastics and she loves animals. What she really likes is she really likes being at this school. Her future plans, she would like to either become a vet or a gymnast. I present to you, Jolie Zarnecki. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One second. Uh, appreciation for your leading us in the <clears throat> in the uh, uh, the recital. We want to give you a certificate of recognition. Okay. We also want to present you right now. Where there's more <laughs> with a flag that's that's represented by our board, and then the all important. Pizza certificate. Congratulations. <laughs> I want to introduce Ben Wolford, student representative to the board October and November 2017 from Northwest PA Collegiate Academy. Ben Wolford is a senior at Northwest PA. Collegiate Academy is the son of Dr. Marion Wolford, a dentist, and Matthew Wolford, an environmental attorney. He attended South Hills for preschool and kindergarten, and then Erie Day School for the first through eighth grade. Ben is, in, is the second youngest in the Wolford family. 
His older sister, Claire, is a junior at Notre Dame University. An older brother, John, is a sophomore at Cornell University, and a younger brother, Daniel, is a sophomore at Collegiate Academy. Currently, Ben is an AP scholar, scoring a three or more on three AP exams. The students, the students and president, secretary of the Tri-M Music Honor Society, vice president of the math club, a member of the Ocean Bowl, and has participated in district and regional PMEA vocal competitions. He has appeared in several theater productions at, at Collegiate Academy and is on the Erie High swim team. During this, his summers, Ben gives sailing lessons to children at the Erie Yacht Club and has been on a race team for three years. His plans are to pursue an undergrad degree in biomedical engineering. After that, it is wide open for him. Mr. Wolfert. I'd just like to say good evening and thank you very much to the school board for allowing me to be their student representative for the month of October. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Mr. President? Yes. I just wanted to commend Ben. Before the meeting started, we were all sitting here and he, he got up and made sure he introduced, he took the initiative to make sure that he introduced himself to everybody. I was pretty impressed by that and I just wanted to acknowledge it. Thank you. <clears throat> This month, the board is recognizing the Jewish Community Council for their support of Wilson Middle School. For more than 10 years, the JCC has provided funding annually for buses of eighth grade students from Wilson, Wilson to travel to Washington, D.C. and tour the National Holocaust Museum. The JCC works closely with Wilson teacher Mary Alice DiTullio each year to plan the trip and ensure that students understand the importance of what they see at the museum. The students must read a book related to the Holocaust and must write a paragraph about what they have learned from the book in order to earn a seat on the trip. Importantly, the students learn lessons about tolerance and diversity through their reading and during their museum tour, where they are each assigned the identity of a real Holocaust victim or survivor. The JCC provides funding for a coach bus to transport students back and forth from DC most years. Students also have some time with chaperones to tour the Washington Mall, Lincoln Memorial, Vietnam War Memorial, Martin Luther King Memorial, and the Reflecting Pool. This is a wonderful opportunity for Wilson students, most of, of whom have never been to Washington, D.C., to see the, the important national sites. On behalf of Wilson Middle School, our entire district, we want to thank the Jewish Community Council for providing our students with this opportunity every year and helping them learn important lessons in to about tolerance and kindness. I'd like to call Mr. Robert Breakstone to the stage to accept this recognition on behalf of the JCC. I'd like to announce that the board met in executive session on Wednesday, October 4, 2017 in conference room three at the Dr. James E. Barker Leadership Center, 148 West 21st Street, from 6.15 p.m. to 6.32 p.m. regarding personnel and legal matters. Reporter to the superintendent. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Our, our community schools initiative is about one year in and it, things are really starting to take shape. Uh, uh, first of all, I'd like to announce that Family Services is the new lead agency at Pfeiffer Burley, and we're excited about this partnership and what they will bring to the families and students at the school. Action plans are completed at McKinley, Pfeiffer Burley, and Edison, all three of our uh, elementary community schools, and needs assessments are just about done at Strong Vincent and East. And although we're just completing the first phase of this implementation, New programming and activities are already being added at the five schools. At East Middle School, there are many new after-school programs taking shape, including basketball clinics and girls' mentoring groups in partnership with Penn State Barron. 
at Strong Vincent Middle School, working on a, they're working on a partnership with the Erie Playhouse for the youth theater uh, performance of Jack and the Beanstalk. And Lord Corporation will be at McKinley this week to provide STEM activities for their students. And lastly, uh, there was a large turnout at Edison's family game night in late September, and that's a credit to the school's uh, efforts around family engagement. And Pfeiffer Burley, I forgot one, I'm sorry. Pfeiffer Burley is already working with the YMCA on expanded summer programming for 2018. School Safety Week, uh, School Bus Safety Week is October 16th through the 20th. And with all the changes that we implemented through transportation this year, we're working with EMTA and the City of Erie Police on an awareness campaign and an Operation Stay Safe Stop event. At Erie High, reimbursement checks for student locker contents uh, lost in the fire were mailed out last week. We're still looking to match some items with their owners and encourage families to review the items carefully and contact the school if anything is missing. Our football homecoming game is tomorrow night, uh, Thursday night versus Brashear. Our uh, Collegiate Academy senior, Paul Karam, who was just invited to participate in the all-national honor ensemble this November in Orlando, will be singing the national anthem before the game. This week is also National School Lunch Week. Many thanks to our partners at Mets for all their hard work and, and all the healthy uh, breakfast and lunch they provide our students. A uh, couple recognitions here as well. Amy Coleman, our assistant principal at McKinley Elementary, has been selected for the National Outstanding Assistant Principal Award in Pennsylvania. She will be honored this Sunday at the Pennsylvania Principals Conference in Pittsburgh, PA. And lastly, Mr. Petrunger and I have the honor of presenting Mr. Brzezinski with a Pennsylvania School Boards Association certificate recognizing his 12 years of service as a school board member. Mr. Brzezinski, we'd like to thank you for your dedication and service to this district and the community it serves. Accept the superintendent's report. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Harkins. Seconded by Mr. Casillo. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Hearing of citizens, persons desiring to speak for five minutes must submit their request in writing to the secretary's office at least one week prior to the school board meeting. All others may speak for three minutes. Just a reminder, we'd like to hold our times of five minutes and three minutes. <clears throat> our first speaker would be Mr. William McDonald. I don't see him out there. Anybody would like to th speak for three minutes? You may come up now, write your name on the pad. <coughs> name and address. Okay, I'll try to make this short and sweet. I know I've only got three minutes and stuff. Uh, you mentioned the thing with the, uh, the checks that were mailed out. Do you have a timetable as to when you mailed them out? Because uh, so far we haven't seen them. Uh, also, the other thing is that, are you trying to take and mail checks out to people or are you trying to have us, the parents come in to the school district and try to match the clothing with the child, or did you guys destroy the clothing, or or the insurance company destroy the clothing? That's, you know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, also, the other thing is that, you know, because my daughter, she lost, you know, she lost some sweaters and stuff like that. I'm not sure what the set value the insurance company put on it, but, you know, that's something that they took care of and stuff like that. So as of to this date, I haven't, we haven't seen anything on it. So it's probably just too soon to tell and stuff like that. So I'll probably give it another a week, maybe two weeks, and then probably contact you guys. But that's the other thing. Um, the other thing is that uh, with my youngest daughter over at Deal, uh, 
she has uh, type 1 diabetes, as I mentioned before in the last meeting and stuff. And I don't think some of your teachers, or gym teachers for that matter, are aware that she has this condition. Um, I don't know whether or not if they're made aware of it, or they should be made aware of it. So all I know is my daughter brought it up to me, and I'm assuming my wife, which I think she did, she went talk to somebody at the school district. Now, what enough if, if, you know, when you get people coming in there with certain needs and stuff like that, you know, that the teachers, and I know that her teachers made aware of it and stuff like that, but it doesn't seem like all the teachers that she deals with are made aware of it and stuff like that in case for some reason she passes out. They're not aware of what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, the one more thing I mentioned and stuff is the, the busing issue and stuff with the EMTA. Uh, as far as I know, the bus, the EMTA's responsibility is to pick up the students and is supposed to take them to the school district, or correction, to the schools themselves. Now, from what my oldest daughter's been telling me, they seem like the, after they pick up students and stuff, they seem to be stopping for a smoke break with the students still in the bus. Um, the other thing that she mentioned to me that she says the buses are still overloaded. So, I mean, that's something you guys might want to look into, you know. I know I talked with the one gentleman on the phone. Um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I talked with him and he said he was supposed to contact EMTA. And of course, I asked my daughter whether or not they've been still doing that and she says yes. So, that's something you guys might want to, you know, check into and stuff like that because you know, if, if, the, if the drivers want to do a smoke break and stuff like that, they should do it after they get done running the kids to school. So, okay, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else would like to speak for three minutes? <clears throat> Not seeing any, we'll move on. Any reports of committees and liaisons? Mr. Chairman? Yes. I attended the Academy 100 celebration on Saturday, September 23rd, and it was a very pleasant, nice, comforting, enjoyable experience for all who were there. Uh, amid all the turmoil and uncertainty we've had in recent years, it's, it was nice for all the gen people across many generations to mingle and share uh, memories and make new ones. Uh, and to know that that building has endured for 100 years and all of the people who've come and gone through it were very happy and uh, energized. And it was just, a, as I said, amid all the turmoil and trouble we've had, uh, it was a reassuring moment. Um, I just wondered if the superintendent would want to mention any of the details about this Saturday's uh, partnership for Republic Schools Gala or would want Daria Devlin to remind anyone Mr. Superintendent? Uh, maybe we could have Daria come up and uh, share a little <laughs> bit about the gala, which is tomorrow night, or Friday night. Thank you, Mr. Harkins. Thank you, Mr. Polito. Yes, so um, this Friday night, we will we'll have our fourth annual event uh, for the Partnership for Erie's Public Schools. It's held at the Ambassador Center this year at 7 p.m. Tickets are still available, but we are almost sold out, so I would ask if people are interested, they would let us know soon. Uh, we're very excited to be honoring five members of the community who have made a big impact on our students. We're going to be honoring Mayor, former Mayor Joyce Savacchio uh, for her contributions in academics. Um, Mel Witherspoon for his contributions in athletics, um, former Superintendent Badams um, for his, obviously, his advocacy efforts, um, Amanda Brown Sissom. Amanda is an alumna of Central High School and now the Director of Erie Arts and Culture. She'll be honored for her contributions in the arts. And then Mr. Danny Jones, um, former district employee, for his contribution in the area of assistance to our students. And finally, the United Way of Erie County for all the work that they're doing with community schools, as Mr. Polito described. They're the community partner. So it's a wonderful evening. There's about an hour of awards, and then the Breeze Band, led by district employee Mo Troop, will be providing live entertainment and dancing. So we certainly encourage you, and, and thank you, Mr. Harkins, for reminding everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have a motion to accept the report? Second. Moved by Mr. Casillo, seconded by 
Mr. Brzezinski. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. We have no unfinished business. We'll move on to new business. Mr. Chairman. Yes. I move we adopt the new business of the school district and the supplemental new business of the school district before us. We have a motion to move. We have a second. Second. Moved by Mr. Harkins, second by Mr. Brzezinski. Roll call. Mrs. Alexandrovich. Yes. Mr. Brzezinski. Yes. Mr. Costello. Yes. Mr. Fabrizi. Yes. Mr. Harkins. Yes. Ms. Shenley. Yes. Mr. Petrunger. Yes. We have no minutes to approve. We move on to bills and payroll. I move we approve <coughs> the payment as presented. Motion by Mr. Harkins. Second. Second by Mr. Casillo. Roll call, please. Mrs. Alexandrovich. Yes. Mr. Brzezinski. Yes. Mr. Casillo. Yes. Mr. Fabrizi. Yes. Mr. Harkins. Yes. Ms. Shenley. Yes. Mr. Petrunger. Yes. Report of the Secretary. Move we approve the report of the Secretary. Move by Mr. Harkins. Second. Second by Mr. Brzezinski. Roll call. Mrs. Alexandrovich. Yes. Mr. Brzezinski. Yes. Mr. Casillo. Yes. Mr. Fabrizi. Yes. Mr. Harkins. Yes. Ms. Shenley. Yes. Mr. Petrunger. Yes. There are no award on bids. Is there any other matter? If none, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Moved by Mr. Casillo. Second by Mr. Brzezinski. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Meeting is adjourned.